Here we have Terra Luna symbol LUNA versus the dollar. And this is an example of one of the uh, strongest charts that we've seen today, actually. Now, short term, just like Bitcoin, you know, you are kind of around an area that you would expect a bit of a pullback from. That's not super problematic. But here's the thing. We did hit extremes on BBWP. Although it you know, might have like another day or two here. I really want to see this get below the moving average before I look for that corrective move. So that, you know, might might be a little bit later this week or early into next week. And then we also are seeing uh, price action just back of around your prior highs. So, you know, typically going to be a bit of a pullback region. Where would I be looking for, a, a, you know, on a pullback maybe in the next week or so uh, would be anywhere around anywhere between about 78 and a half to about 73 and a quarter is fair game. Uh, as low as 67 and a half, but ultimately I am bullish on this thing long term, I suppose, as long as you're especially above that lower end of that pullback range, which basically the mid 60 regions. Um, short term time frames like a four hour. Are we showing any signs of slowdown right now? Yeah, we hit extremes here uh, one, two, three times on four hour BBWP, and this one is below the moving average on it now, so I am looking for that corrective move short term. Mm, doesn't necessarily mean the same thing as a daily corrective move. So, you know, perhaps about 8390 or so is fair game. Four hour RSI showing a few drives of bearish evidence come off the highs as well. So, again, short term, a little bit more likely to pull back here. Long term, uh, among the best, it's not among the best charts, the best chart that we've seen today, no doubt about that. Weekly is continuation long term. We do have a drive of hidden bullish evidence come off that last low. And we are about to see volatility on the weekly schedule uh, turn back up again. I want to see now if the weekly stochastic momentum is also turning up, as that would be a lot more interesting. Uh, daily stochastic momentum, by the way, turning down below about 95 and a half. So kind of furthering that idea that very likely a pullback for a short term weekly is freshly turning up here, literally freshly, freshly turning up and will be remaining <laughs> with upside momentum as long as this one closes above about 59 and a half bucks. And also of of uh, of interest here is going to be rejection of the bearish control zone, which is incredibly fucking good i guess <laughs> i mean jesus man uh yeah talk about strong charts today what does a monthly look like just out of curiosity wow wow is technically not an engulfing but this is a very strong this this is very likely going to lead towards long-term continuation um you know short-term pullbacks are just are, are likely to lead towards higher lows that's all that i really have to say about this one five day closed five day looks generally good here again any sort of a pullback down to like low 80s or, or upper 70s kind of fair game uh, but ultimately i'm looking for long-term continuation here i have no reason to be bearish on a chart that looks like this at all whatsoever especially as long as you're above like 50 52 bucks but i'd even go as far as saying uh, above about 63 bucks in this case until then short-term sideways and a little bit of downsides fair game but long-term i am looking for continuation we should probably talk about some potential long-term continuation targets here just out of just, just to see where we're kind of at in the grand scheme of things so i'm going to take the whole range right here and plot an extension and uh upon breakage let's call it of a daily closure above about 96 dollars i would be looking for this one to actually put in a move in the following weeks towards 115 to 125 actually uh and maybe even more over time as this is uh again one of the strongest charts so especially if you see bitcoin do some bust in action to the upside uh specifically above about 45 you're probably gonna see this thing like really move uh, alongside with it so hopefully that was helpful and there you go for terra luna sir